Hi, I'm Allison Crow, and welcome to a reading of Unarmored, Finding Home in the Wild Edges of Being Human, a book I wrote, and that was published by Compassionate Mind Collaborative in 2022. This creative work and expression from my unarmored heart is dedicated to my clients over the last 20 years and to my soul friends who choose to live authentically, wholeheartedly, and humanly as extraordinary humans. Our reciprocal relationships inspire me to no end. Thank you for receiving my quirky, circular, and human leadership. I also dedicate this book to my quiet watchers. I feel you out there holding me in love and appreciation, and it matters. From my yellow heart to yours, this book is dedicated to you. This is the foreword by Chris Seidel, one of my mentors. For over 40 years, my professional and creative life has been spent exploring and expressing my creativity while also guiding my students to claim and honor their unique and individual creative being their expressive arts and intuitive painting. I don't teach technique and I don't help people to become better artists. I teach people to trust their intuition by engaging with the creative process. I teach people how to value their spirit nourishing experience of simply being creative over any type of creative outcome. My work is not for everyone. It goes against the dominant cultural ideology, which gives people the message that creativity is only worthwhile if it brings you outer world things like money, status, or approval. Many folks have a hard time letting go of those particular perks and are challenged to understand why being creative for its own sake is really what matters. When Alison Crow participated with great enthusiasm, in my Wild Heart Expressive Arts teacher training program, I knew immediately that I was in the presence of a kindred spirit. From the very beginning, Allison got it. She already knew on a very profound level that honoring your creativity or honoring your soul is where true healing, wholeness, and authenticity live. I felt like Allison signed up for my program not so much to learn about this way of being creative, but more to validate what she already knew deep in her bones, I could sense that she wanted to clear away the patriarchal conditioning that she still carried with her. This conditioning only allows for pushing, striving, efforting, hustling, and being successful at all costs. She came to be supported by her heart, body, and emotions instead of solely residing in her head. She came to release and heal the many layers of trauma we all carry from living in this culture through the sacred process of making art. She came because she wanted a safe place and supportive community to help her become more and more unarmored as she revealed and reclaimed her truest self. She came to express herself fully via the creative process without holding anything back. And she did all of these things with much passion, gusto, and enthusiasm. When Allison decides she's going to do a thing, she does it wholeheartedly. She brings all of who she is to whatever project she has decided to undertake. This is why I was so excited to learn that she was writing a book about her journey as a coach, a businesswoman, and a gorgeously vulnerable human being. What I love most about Allison is her commitment to being real. She doesn't pretend to be anything other than who she really is, which is so rare and refreshing and is also totally committed to helping her many students and clients do the same. And that realness and commitment come across so beautifully in her new book, Unarmored, Finding Home in the Wild Edges of Being Human. Unarmored is a book that is so necessary for the scary and tumultuous times we're experiencing right now. It provides a roadmap for hope and inspiration as we tread into and through this new radically changing world that we live in. Allison unabashedly shares powerful and personal stories about her life, stories that are raw and funny and full of so much earned wisdom. But she doesn't present these stories from a perspective of, here's what I learned and I'm all better and enlightened now. She never portrays herself as someone who has all the answers or any answers 
She is most interested in communicating about her messy, tender, confused, and tangled healing process and providing compassion for herself and others. She's one smart cookie and has clearly devoted herself to her own personal growth and healing as well as the growth and healing of her many, many students and clients. Allison offers insights and her own unique take on some potent and compelling tools that she has gathered over her years of self-exploration, like internal family systems, developing nourishing habits, a surefire way to get you out of your head and truly embody your emotions. Once you read the chapter on fiery ants, you won't ever see them or the emotion of anger in the same way again. She also discusses nervous system regulation, Gabor Mate's work on authenticity and attachment, and much, much more. She explains some of these concepts using wildly colorful visual aids of her own art, which is the coolest thing ever. Allison is irreverent and hilarious and does not shy away from calling bullshit when she sees it. More than one sacred cow of the coaching and personal growth industry gets challenged and overturned on these pages. Here's looking at you, law of attraction. One thing she consistently comes back to again and again and again is how true and lasting healing happens inside of our body and our feelings, not solely in our heads. And how only paying attention to shifting your mindset or what she so brilliantly names the positivity bypass keeps people stuck in unhelpful and unchanging patterns of behavior. And that what matters more than anything is being completely and unapologetically your true and essential self, which includes every last bit of who you are. I could go on and on about everything Allison discusses on these pages. There's so much rich and juicy wisdom here. The thing that impressed me the most about this book, though, is that as much as it is chock full of wondrously helpful information, genius ideas about how to live and work and be, and potent personal teaching tales, it is at the core a powerful transmission of energy. Allison models how she lives and teaches in the way that she writes. I found myself impacted on a visceral nervous system level as the alchemy of her words and language entered into my body being, bypassing my linear thinking brain and allowing me to make deeply felt connections in ways that made no sense to my mind, but opened hidden doorways into the deepest chambers of my heart. Be prepared for the aha moments to come fast and furious as you dive into this kaleidoscopic world of her huge radiant spirit and dazzling incandescent mind. This woman is a magician, a wizard weaving magic spells of permission and hope compassion and presence, liberation and realness, trust and wholeness, reminding you on every page that who you are is always more than enough and all you ever need be. She is a sacred cheerleader of the soul, a fierce mama bear of truth, and a courageous warrior of the spirit, guiding you, holding you, and tending to the sweetness of your vulnerable humanness with her huge, all-encompassing heart. That was written by Chris Seidel, Wild Heart Queen and founder of Creative Juices Arts.